Yo, what's going on guys? Dark Mods here. Today I'm going to be showing you a new and improved tutorial how to make a Roblox execute in 2024. I apologize for not uploading recently. I'm going to be back on the grind. But that all being said, subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight onto the motherfucking video. You need Visual Studio 2022. If you don't have it, I recommend you go download it. You need the community version. You want to create a new project like so. You can use WPF or Windows Forms. We're going to keep this shit simple. We're going to keep it simple as possible. So we're going to search for Windows Forms app like this one click on next name this whatever the fuck you want how about i'm gonna name this like crazy ass executor because this is gonna be the craziest exploit ever so yeah just click on next right there um framework you would just want to leave this as it is right okay so you'll get this like this is basically your application right here so the first the very first step that you want to do is you want to go ahead where it says project in the top you want to scroll down and click manage new get packages like this and you want to click on browse and you want to search for web view the reason why this is is because i'm going to be showing you how to make like you know a, a better script editor because i know some of you guys were asking for that so you just want to click on web view to this one here install that one and then just hit apply now you should be sorted so go over here and click on where it says dependencies right click on it add a reference you want to click on browse and you want to go to the link in the description and download the folder that's called new executor files you want to click on cxapis.dll click on add that's the initial setup complete now we actually need to code the executor go onto toolbox like this you want to search for web view and you want to drag this on so this will basically be your script editor so you want to just drag this to like as big as like the executor can go and then you want to add on some two buttons so just search for button real quick and then you want to drag one button and another button and then just make your UI look really nice even though you know it's dog shit but it is what it is so you want to go ahead over to text this one we'll call it inject and then this one we want to call it execute that's fucking pissing me off that the buttons aren't centered give me just one damn minute am I a fucking retard? so I want to change the background color because um, script edit is going to be a dark theme so um, I just want to set the back color to this to um, 16 16 16 like that and that's pretty much it for like the actual designing part so just click on the button and then at the top above where it says namespace you want to type in using cx api like this for the inject button you want to type cx api dot call functions inject like that so just exactly like that and then that's your inject button done so for the execute button you will probably need to do some more coding so just double click on the execute button and you want to create a function called like execute script or something so just above that you want to type in um, private async void and now what we're going to call this function let's call it like exec script because you know that's amazing so just put your curly brackets there and now this is where you have to listen up very carefully or else it will not work for you so um, you want to do string script also if you don't want to like you know type this shit in it'll be in the description with everything you need all right so string script equals editor dot get value so basically what this does is it will get everything that's in the script editor and then it will pass it to the roblox api not reslut what so um yeah await web view to one dot call web view 2 and then execute script async script so what this will do is it will basically get everything in the script editor and now we actually want to um make sure the text is nice and formatted so that the api doesn't fucking explode so how you do that is rejects dot unescape sorry not dot escape we don't want to escape just yet um just click on result dot trim and then i forgot how you do this it's like that and i think like it's like this yeah 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 yeah. oh shit i'm a fucking retard <laughs> i put fucking strong instead of straight pass it to the api so that it executes the script in roblox so you want to type in cx api dot call functions dot execute script and then you want edit a text so this will actually tell roblox to execute the script all right so now you can go back and double click on the execute button and now all you put there is exec script like so right but now we actually want this web view to actually load your script editor because otherwise what the fuck is the point of having a web view that's fucking blank so you want to create a new function so just do it like wherever 
the private async void. We'll call this like on load, for example, because we're going to do this on load. All right, so this wants to be await webview 21 dot ensure async like this one. And then you want to set the source of the web view. So webview 21 dot source equals new URI. I'm not sure why it's URI instead of URL. But anyways, guys, um, I'll give you a link to the um, script editor. Right. OK, so I've got it right here. This is a link. So you can see if you go here, you can like mess around with the script editor like some. So this is what it's going to look like inside your executor. It's going to look like this. So that's pretty cool. If you want your executor to auto inject, um, the auto inject is pretty buggy. I've tried this before, um, but like you'll have to like open the executor after you join a game and then it'll be fine. So you just do cxapi.call functions dot set auto injects true like so. And now public form one under initialize component. There you want to look, you want to use your function called onload like that. So that is literally it for um, making your own executor like this. So just a quick like quality of life sort of thing. If you just tap on like the top here, you can like change this more. And I don't want the icon to show. We're going to set top most. So that basically means if you click off Roblox, see that like it's going away like it won't if you have topmost on. Let's set the opacity to like 95 so like it sort of looks kind of see-through. And we're just going to set the um, text to crazy. This is how you actually build your executor. So you want to click here on build and click build solution like so. And then just wait like about 10 to 20 seconds, you know, for your executor to actually finish building. And then it'll give you a project path. So here C slash users, your username and then source. Just keep following that and just about here so just copy this and go to your file explorer sorry and then you just want to copy that and this is where your executor has actually been stored so now what you want to do is one final step where in the new executor files folder just drag everything that's in here into your executor's folder like this if it says that there's already a file just make sure you replace that and boom there we go you've made your own executor successfully now does it fucking work that is the question right so we're in roblox now we can open up our executor and it's already injected just like that i didn't even have to press the inject button that's pretty cool so um let's just try like print hello fucker i don't know i'm out of ideas and look, you can see there that it works pretty good. So let's just do print identity just to see what level the executor is. Huh? Just 10 minutes ago, that shit was level 7. Right. I think I know what the problem is. Um, because I had an executor before that was using the premium version of this API that was level 7. Um, I will, if I find the files for it, I will include the premium version, which is level 7. But if not, this is level 3, so, you know, it does in fact work. Let's try the UNC test. Hello, computer. Right, so UNC test is successfully completed. That's got an 84%. The premium version, I think, has a 94% success rate. So I'll try and find those files. I'm not bullshitting you. It did have 94%. But, you know, obviously, as soon as you start recording a video, shit doesn't go to plan, does it? I'll give you the source code for the, uh, the other crazy executor that I made. I'm so confused, bro. I don't want to play Pet Simulator. That's gay. There were build errors. You're a fucking build error. Is it? Look, see, 94 UNC level 7. And you can see print identity like so. This is indeed a level 7 executor. We'll just do the UNC test just to show you like this. And we've got a 94% success rate. Oh, this script is ass. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want all the files, the links to everything will be in the description. Thank you guys and peace.